Hey everyone, Rob here, and we have some updates from Iceland on Grimsvat. You can see here is a picture of it back when it erupted, but before we really get into what we're looking at there, I just want to mention that as of today, so it's October 10th, there were measurements by the Geosciences Institute of the University of Iceland, and it's a big mouthful, that indicate water is beginning to flow from Grim Grimsvat. Uh, and that flow is expected to flow down into kind of a glacial run, as we have said before. Now, the ice sheet has re receded by almost three meters in just the past few days. Uh, and the water le level is quite low. So they're saying that a small glacial run is expected or approximately one fifth of the last run. And the last run, if we all remember, I did a video on it a while back, was around last December. So it has been a short time since the last run, relatively speaking. And they're, they're thinking that it'll most likely happen uh, tomorrow, which will be Tuesday and last for several days. And uh, they're thinking that the ice shelf can sink by around 10 to 15 meters in total. Uh, so not a huge amount, but there are some examples of volcanic eruptions in Grimsvat after this sort of water flow, after this glacial run. So it's believed that a sudden pressure relief due to this falling water level does trigger eruptions. And I, I did mention this before. So the last time such a scenario actually happened was in 2004. And before that, we were looking at 1934 and 1922. So it's not crazy <laughs> all the time that this is going to happen. Uh, but it is a possibility. So Grimsvat has run had, had these glacial runs uh, quite more often, that's kind of a weird sentence, uh, a lot more often without an eruption than with an eruption. But if we're taking a look at some of the information here on the Icelandic Volcanoes website, and we can zoom in, we can see Grimsvatn is this one right here. They have now changed the flight color code for Grimsvatn to yellow due to this run, just because they can't rule out the possibility that eruption will start as a result. Although, considered unlikely now two things need to happen pressure relief has to be enough you know to wake up the volcano and pressure in the volcano has to be enough to trigger the eruption but there is uncertainty from both of those aspects so the greatest pressure relief in Grimsvatn again can be expected starting tomorrow but they're saying that the height of it will be on Wednesday when it reaches its peak and it'll be an increased chance of an eruption then which will quickly you know diminish after the Wednesday and after the glacial flooding and glacial run that's happening. Now, all of the meteorological agency and the sciences of the University Institute of Geosciences continue to monitor this. They're constantly looking at this volcano and will publish more information depending on the development of what's been going on. But again, it's worth pointing out that if you are in Iceland and you're in that area, which, uh, you know, it's pretty remote. It's in Vatnajökull National Park. So but the glacial flooding will go down towards the ocean. Uh, but if you are in that area, runoff gas pollution can be expected, which will be the greatest near the glacial edge and at the river bed. But it is, again, still kind of out of the way. So I think you'll be fine without it. Uh, you can see here again where it is. This website here, again, it is Iceland, IcelandicVolcanoes.is. It is a great source of information for you to take a look. You can see here, clicking on Grimsvat, the average number of earthquakes. There's a whole ton of information on a lot of the volcanoes there. So definitely something to check out. It's just a quick update. Last thing I want to take a look at is, of course, all of the earthquakes that have been going on in the last 48 hours. And as you can see, it is very, very minimal. If we go to the table, and this is all earthquakes in all of Iceland, there is only a total of 88. So things have died down considerably. And uh, most of those are very, very small in a magnitude. So, again, just a quick update. Grimsbutt, we're keeping an eye on you. And until next time, thank you so much for watching.